OMG, do and Indian market next. Okay, just for a little context, we previously did exploring an Asian market, but now we're gonna be more specific and go to an Indian market. <gasps> I am hungry. Like I am, uh, I'm hungry. There is so much to choose from. Frozen samosas or frozen chapli kebabs slash any type of kebabs. They also wrote some other stuff, but I'm not gonna look at it. Unfortunately, we couldn't find chowpi kebabs. We even asked the guy walking and he said the closest thing he had was lamb kebabs. Have, have only had like lamb once or twice. You know it's gonna be good when um, there's frozen grease on the side of your frozen food. Ooh. It looks like it's done. Let's go back to the dungeon. Oh my, you weren't lying, the plate is wet. When I think of kebabs, usually I think of like holding it with a stick. Oh yeah, it is. But these are different. Honestly, these smell so good. The spices in it are hitting my nose good. Mm-hmm. Cheers. Cheers. The inside is um hollow. This is so good. If someone gave me this, I would just assume it's beef. I know, it literally just tastes like a pork sausage. It's flavored so much. That, it, yeah, it tastes like a breakfast mm. sausage. We didn't even need dipping sauce though. Oh. Didn't do a little dip in the grease. Honestly, what would you dip this in? I was picturing some like peanut sauce. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to dip them in, but to me that sounds good. First thing that came to my mind was like ketchup. <laughs> but that probably wouldn't even enhance it. These would be a perfect appetizer for my main at a oh. restaurant. Yay. I've never been to India, but if these were never sold where I live, I think I might take a trip to India. Oh yeah, I would fly to India for these. Ooh, you feel it spice in your mouth? Yeah, there's a little bit of a bite. Pani Pori. You can get the puffs in the frozen section. You can poke a hole with your finger or break the shell with a spoon and fill with potato, chickpeas, spices, <laughs> sorry, with a mint sauce. Indian street food is amazing and is mostly vegetarian and sometimes vegan. Got him! These weren't in the freezer section. Place panty puris in the large dish and make a small hole in the top of each one. Ooh! Okay, this is sweet mango sauce. This is the panty paste. Ooh, these are the little like, we thought they were chickpeas, but. But it's actually bondi. I mean, yeah, boondi. So it's kind of like a deviled egg, but there is an egg. Like you yeah. feel like the 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 deviled egg look alike with other stuff. <laughs> Smells good. This is the mango sauce. I don't know how much to add. Just like that much. Yeah, that's good. Pani puri paste to taste. It's all up to like our taste how much we add in. So do you want to taste a little bit? Okay, <gasps> I so love good. that stuff. So I had it so much. It's a little oh. bit spicy. It's like kind of like salsa. Well, look, we went to this um place in LA called Flavor of India. They give you these little cracker things that are kind of like this, but they're flat. And then you dip it in this paste and it was so good. Yeah, it was always like one of my favorite things. It's all served. You hyped up the sauce a lot, so. No, no, like I actually think this is gonna be like so good. We, none of us have tried the mango sauce yet though, so. It's like a whole different chips and salsa. Type of thing. I could do without the mango stuff though. They're like sweet and salty, and to me it's mm. a little bit like overwhelming. So since at Flavor of India we had something similar to this as an appetizer, I'm assuming this is sort of like thing to nitpick at before the main. Maybe like an adult type mm. thing. Yay. I'm gonna blow every cent I have, maybe even open a credit card and fly for, no, not for class, private to India to bring this back to where I live. I'm a panty purry girly. So that means you're flying oh, there? I'm flying there. I didn't realize how spicy it was. Like, I feel like this- Same! This like, is the type of spice where like, you don't even realize as you're eating it. You're like, this is so good. But then afterwards you're like, oh my God, like I feel like I'm turning beet red. This actually has a, a <clears throat> whole wave of flavors that last like 10 minutes. Multi-dimensional. Yeah. Ooh. Mango lassi is a must. Also, kima non bread is one of the best side dishes. You're not the only person to request this. If a lot of people requested it, I'm assuming there's some magic within it. When we were at this Indian grocery store and we looked for mango lassi and we couldn't find it, so then we asked the guy walking, do you guys have any mango lassi? And he looked around and said, no we don't, Saul. But then he said, guys, it's not rocket science. If you really want mango lassi, I can show you how to make it. He said to get mango pulp, we got it. 
And then um, some yoga. I got some yoga too. Um, this is um, a different type of yoga, but looking at the ingredients, it looks just like yogurt from America, but maybe there's something different. He said to mix yogurt with mango pulp and then add a little bit of sugar and boom. So honestly, um, thanks to that guy. He's probably not watching this video, but... Um... So there's actually a plot twist right now because Lucas doesn't have sugar. This mango pulp has eight grams of added sugar. So like, it might not be as sweet as usual, but I'm fine with that, I guess. I'm not measuring, by the way. I'm just like doing my own thing. Ooh, this looks thick. It bit. Trying just new stuff is just like what, an experience that is unmatchable. I love fruity jinks <laughs> because I'm fruity. <laughs> Two fruity boys eating fruit. <laughs> Tastes like baby food, which I love. Like I remember, like when I was in like middle school, me and my older sister, I say, "Mom, please get us baby food." <laughs> you say it's too expensive. <laughs> you just gross me out because <laughs> baby food is so good. This is basically mango ice cream, but not frozen, and I'm in love. This is so good. <laughs> okay, why does it feel like I'm doing a contest where like I have to finish it? <laughs> and like whenever I my vibe. Like whenever I say you drink it, I get stressed because I'm like I want to have some more. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's all gonna go away. The the oath is that positive that you can create something like this, like this. Oh color. yeah, like you don't need like, to add high fructose fruit, 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 corn syrup. But also, this is the color. I, oh, that's actually true. I remember I used to have something from the gas station that's kind of like this V8 or something. V8 does have like vegetables and fruit, mm -hmm. so maybe that is what it is. This is the like <sighs> um most non foreign thing we've had this video. Like it literally mm. just tastes like a naked smoothie to me. Mm. But like I just love it still. Yay. I love this, but I'm not flying to India um just because I made it at home. Yeah, also I feel like I've already had some this is just baby food, but I love it. But yeah, like I wouldn't waste money flying to India because I could just get baby food. There's this stuff called pickle, which is like a paste that comes in a jar. There is a lot of varieties. The hot mango kind is so good, I recommend mixing it with plain yogurt. It makes a great dip. Two other people liked this comment, so there's also two other people in the world that agree with Crystal. Mm. I'm hungry! Okay. I got mango pickle and oil. But I saw at the grocery store we were at, they just had pickle seasoning and they had like a spicy pickle seasoning. So I don't know if that's what you were talking about or if you're talking about this. Wait, this is seasoning or is it just- No, this is mangoes in pickle oil, I think. What? From my knowledge, like a pickle is a cucumber that is soaked in like vinegar and like salt and some dill dill seasoning, so oh, it's yeah, just a like mango that's in... I think but you can pickle anything, you know, like pickled onions. I but, think we just call pickles pickles to like the main pickle thing, right? But these aren't soaked in vinegar, right? That'd be kind of... Like mango soaked in vinegar doesn't sound that good I know, to that's me. Why, that's why I bet you it is though, that's the only way to pickle things, right? But there must be other ways that we aren't aware of, I'm assuming. What? <laughs> Yeah, so I'm Googling it, and this is like soaked in a bunch of um, oils and spices. So I guess they just, they just pickled it, not in vinegar and other stuff. Do you want me to try them first? Yeah, like, sometimes I'm just scared. I'm scared of the unknown. So it smells like brown sugar. So I'm gonna assume these are sweet, plus yeah. since they're mangoes. It doesn't look like a mango, that looks like a purple, but... La 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 Yeah, it isn't sweet. La 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 Wait, it's just like really like, like you're eating, like it isn't like um, a fruit? <laughs> no, yeah, I'm just like eating a purple. Oh. <laughs> la 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 I was just like scared of what was in my mouth, so I like, I panicked and spit it out. This is like very um, flavorful, like doesn't it like really salty to me? Mm -hmm. This is hard piece. I'm just gonna put it on the side. That's what my whole thing was. I don't oh. think I bit into the mango. Oh, mine had a soft piece. No, mine wasn't soft. That's why I was weirded mm. out because it wasn't, it wasn't like a vegetable fruit texture. Is this supposed to be added on top of a dish? So like, mm. I'm picturing chicken tikka masala with like a few of these on top to add flavor Oh or something. yeah, like, I feel like you'd have rice, um, your whatever meat you're eating. And then like, this would just be a little side thing that you'd mix and they give the whole dish flavor. But like, you would never, I don't think you just eat it plain, but maybe you would. Yeah, because for me, like they have so much flavor that eating it by itself is um 
a lot for my mouth to handle. Yay. I would fly to India so someone would show me how to actually eat it. Oh, that's you know? a, a good point because I was literally just gonna say, oh, I just until I didn't like it, but I wanna know what you're actually supposed to do yeah. with this. So yeah, I'd probably take a flight too, but just fly economy. Or I hope someone flew me out. Mm. That's the term where like when you're so hot, someone flies you out. <laughs> um, I know people commented these comments, but um, I just found out about this when I arrived on set, and I really like Lucas and Jacob's videos, and um, can they maybe try this thing called uh, magas, M magas? Um, I don't know how to pronounce it, but can they try that? I um, it'd be really fun to see them try it. Of course. By the way, what's your number? You look really good. We actually got those, so um, it works out, you know? Can you please not like flirt with the people we hire? Oh, is that, that's unprofessional. That's like, true. do you want this to be a Try Guys thing? That's what I just thought of, yeah. Um, I, I, it was just a joke. Okay. Made from ghee and chickpea flour. Is Ooh. ghee butter? Oh, we should Google it. I've heard of it. Ghee is a type of clarified butter. Oh, damn, you knew. This brand, Deep Indian Kitchen is um, sold in Walmart and Target. So, oh, it's dang. actually like, it's everywhere. You actually supposed to let that out of the freezer? But that's fine, right? Yeah, we can bite into it, right? I think so. You can't be waiting for something to thaw. I know, it's too kind of consuming. Oh, this looks good. Okay. I also love how it's made with chickpeas. Wait, is there peanut butter in this? Or just peanuts? Chickpeas, and then it looks like there's some like almonds on top though. Cheers. Oh my god. <laughs> The look of this, I was expecting like this cookie taste, but like, I feel like I taste like the chickpeas. Like, I guess the chickpeas, right? Yeah. It tastes like cinnamon to me. Like, I'm, I'm not even joking. It's like adjacent to a cinnamon roll. Now I wish I knew what it tasted like soft. You know what I mean? It's gonna be way better because each bite I take, it feels like I'm like doing a workout. Yay. I'm going to India with these because I'm doing something different. Like mm. whenever I have desserts, it's like a brownie or a cookie. This has way more flavor than that to me. Like it has way more spices going on or something. I would go to India because I would find some dessert maker. Just make every type of dessert and let me try them all, you know? And like they would just like, even though they had all this stuff to do that day, they just wouldn't do it and just make, and that day just make desserts for me, you know? Okay. But I would like pay them. Just kidding, that, that would never happen, but I mean, my dream? Lucas, anything is possible. Now, literally no one re requested this. We were at the grocery store, and there was a drink called Badam Jink, which is a dairy beverage with almond bits. Instantly attracted to it because um, I've been listening to the Kylie Minogue song, Padam. Padam, how does it go? Padam, I you. padam, I hear it and I know. Padam, padam. So then, when I saw Badam, it made me think of the Kylie Minogue song, and I was like, I that song's been stuck in my head for the whole day, so I feel like I meant to get the Badam drink. What's it say? Causes bloating? Oh, do not use if can is bloated. Oh, I was like, I love how they give us a warning, like, you're gonna be bloated. Oh my, this has cow milk, buffalo milk. Straight from the buffalo's nip. Gulp, gulp, gulp. What? Is it good? I, I've never <laughs> had something like this before. Ew, I'm just grossed out because like, I could just tell like there is this weird vibes coming from me. I was like trying to, my, my um, brain takes a while to process it. Gulp, gulp. I mean, I was a little bit shocked because there's little bits in it. Oh, yeah, there's <laughs> the almond bits. First thing I thought of is when I've shared drinks with people in the past and like there's bits in it. Oh, I'm back flush. Gulp. Oh, I actually get what you mean. That's very interesting. Like, just interesting. Yeah, it, it tastes is, like... It doesn't even taste bad. It's just very, like... I guess I'm just, like, perplexed. What is that flavor, though? Like, I, I just want to know what that flavor is. It's kind of like milk with pepper in it. Yeah, like, it's not spicy, but it tastes like someone, like, added, like, the, the flavor of pepper to it or something. Oh, it has saffron in it. Yay. I'm glad I got this, but, um... I'm good with just having it once, so I won't take a flight. Yeah, I have to agree. I, I know I'm just every single time I'm just saying whatever you say, but I agree. <laughs> <laughs> you should try the Monaco snack, specifically the pizza one, since they are the best thing I've eaten of India's snack. By the way, greetings from a Latin American country. Smile face. I tried my best to find the Pizza Monaco one, but we could only find the classic. Mm. And the pizza one sounds so good. I know, like, I've had pizza Pringles and like, 
real good. So I want to type pizza monaco's, but I couldn't find them. It looks like a Ritz cracker. So I'm just gonna assume it tastes like that, but assumptions are not always correct. <gasps> Even Loki, like, is this like the conspiracy from your Trader Joe's video where like, is this made in the same factory as Ritz? <laughs> is it literally just a Ritz cracker? Oh. Mm. A little bit of a different taste. It does, a tiny bit. Mm -hmm. This with a little slab of ham and cheese make it a little lunchable. Mm. This with the stuff from the, um, with like the, the, um, green sauce. I think you're talking about panny poli sauce. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but like that stuff. Super buttery, super crispy. Mm -hmm. This is really specific, but this is the one difference between these and Rich Crackles. Monaco's have a little bit of a pizza crust taste, whereas Rich mm -hmm. don't have that. That's the difference. Also, I know you said they're buttery, but they aren't as buttery as Rich. Like, I feel like they're more just like a cracker. They aren't like as like loaded up with like oil or something. Yay. I'm just now realizing that like a flight from to India would be like so long. So like I kind of need to up all my standards a little bit. So like I'm not gonna fly to India for this because it tastes almost identical identical to a rich crackle. Yeah, I don't think this is worth like doing a whole trip. Like I can't spend the rest of my life flying to India and back, you know? Mm-hmm. Paneer, naan bread, samosas, mango lassi. Sounds like a great video. Woo. So, um, I didn't know this, I Googled it. Paneer is a type of cheese. Whole milk cheese made with natural ingredients. Oh! <gasps> Could have been bad. What's it smell like? It smells like pickles. Let's do a few slices. Lucas was the mastermind of keeping the malacos downstairs so then we could try it with it and make a little lunchable. <laughs> like there's a Virgin Mary up there. Yeah, like <laughs> someone's watching over us, doesn't it? I know, stay a virgin. Doesn't smell like anything to me. It smells like so much like pickles to me, but I don't know if I'm just like have flavor left from the other yeah, case, I smell nothing. Wait, it tastes like nothing. <laughs> I'm not even joking to be funny, but I actually don't taste anything. I know, I don't smell anything. Plain yogurt. You know how plain yogurt mm. has no taste? Or there's a cheese that tastes like this kind of. Uh, mozzarella maybe? No, not mozzarella. Um, Parmesan is it? No, what's the white cheese? <laughs> but mozzarella, right? No, mozzarella has You know like it though. kind of doesn't as much as cheddar? Yeah. Take another bite by itself and actually soak in the flavor. It tastes right. like actually like mozzarella. I'm gonna take off all my senses. Yeah, it's like a less tasty mozzarella. Let's say mozzarella is 100%. This is like only literally 30% of that 100%. Yum. Just. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> it brings it more to life, you know? This is making me think of tofu. Mmm. Because if you had tofu on top of a crackle, tofu essentially has no flavor. Mmm. Unless you put seasoning on it. So like that's what this kind of is like. <laughs> Um, I'm not gonna hate too much because I've had cheeses that don't have flavor. Like this is kind of funny to mention, but you know what? Cheesecake Factory for cheese pasta, how they put that liquidy cheese on top. And oh, the, the, cream? the cream one. Have you noticed that that doesn't really have flavor? Oh, but it's needed. For, yeah, it's like texture. So maybe if you put this on in pasta, like it would add something. Yeah, like my initial reaction, no offense to Sarah, is why would I eat something that doesn't have flavor, you know? But and that's still my reaction actually. <laughs> so I wouldn't apply for this. Same. OMG! You should try the Corker Maggie noodles, some maybe some ready to eat meals like Ramja Chawal, Paojo. I can't wait for this. These are two minute noodles, so they are um, really quick. Just from the packaging and like that photo, um, it's reminding me of ramen noodles. And the flavor, the flavor is masala. Yeah, it looks like, Top ramen, add some water. And then I'm just gonna cook it for like a few minutes. It's done. Does it look fully cooked? Uh, no, it actually needs a little bit longer. So it's not two minute noodles in the microwave. Wait, debunk? Like, yes, they aren't crunchy still, but like they aren't to my level of perfection. So they might actually be like three minute noodles, like two minute 30 noodles. Okay, I'm gonna take it out because it's a bunch of overflow. Now, whenever I eat ramen, I always lick the inside of the package. Oh Is it like chicken tikka masala? Yeah, it has that vibe going on. Oh my gosh. Fish it, fish. 
Thank you. Can I actually eat it with you? Sure. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Ooh, this flavor is gonna be so good. So we do, since we don't have any ice cubes, this is my hack. I just hold it up in the air for a little bit. And then blowing actually works. Ooh la la. <laughs> is it so hot? I'm not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What'd you even say? Okay, I said no, it isn't. This is better than chicken ramen because I love masala. <laughs> 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 I just pictured the weirdest thing. What if they were giants? And if you're on a really hot day, they pick you up with the stomach and go Whoo, to like cuddle you off. Oh, I would love that. Ooh la la. I don't taste that much masala though, but I love it. I'm gonna find out what masala even is because um, I feel like an idiot not knowing. It's I'm obviously just, spices, but what? I'm just picturing it to taste like chicken tikka masala. Like that's the only masala I know, but like this is good, but like it just, it is like, I guess it is like the perfect amount of flavor. So it's typically made up of five different spices, like cumin and stuff. They're just talking about instant noodle packs. <laughs> what I'm realizing is I never eat instant noodles ever, it feels like. And like, they just bring so much joy to my life, so mm, I shouldn't be. I know. This used to, they used to be like a daily activity for me growing up. Yeah, I need to try some of that broth too. Yeah, for some reason, like I was, I guess I was expecting way more flavor for some reason. Maybe it's because I now go to like ramen restaurants that have more flavor than instant packets. Maybe I just have elevated too much. But yeah, like to me, like I smell the Indian spices, but I don't really taste them. Yay. I am flying to India because although I still love chicken instant ramen, this is something different that I am a fan of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going right with you. I call window seat. Crispy papadams and some mango chutney slash dips. Your Indian food levels know. <laughs> and duffo samosas and onion bahis. <sighs> Comment tour, you should feel lucky because we spent about five minutes looking for papadams and we couldn't find it, so we asked. The guy that was walking again mm -hmm. and said, do you know if you guys have this? And I, I didn't know how to pronounce it. I think you used papadams, but I didn't want to say it because I felt insecure because I've never said the word yeah. before. But anyway, he led us to this section and he said, do you want the small ones or the big ones? I said the big ones. Oh, I love the bunny on the front. Wait, I didn't even notice that. My eyes literally made that invisible. Well, I think this is actually what we got as an appetizer at the Flavor of India. They show like um, it being served with like lettuce and stuff, sort of like uh, tostada, I guess. But we're gonna eat it plain. Mm. Fried or roasted before consuming. Oh. Honestly, I like it plain. Mm. It just has those puffo in it. So it probably is the thing from the restaurant, but they just fry it, right? Yeah. It's kind of spicy though. Mm -hmm, like it's I like love building up over time. Yeah, I love the little bits with like so much pepper. Yay. We didn't even eat it how you're supposed to eat it, but honestly, I'm not gonna take a singular flight to India for this, but I'm gonna um go to India for two things. Like I'm gonna bring a, mm. like I'm, this is gonna be, but yeah, I'm flying to India basically is what I'm saying. I'd be on standby for a flight. Mm. You know what I mean? Like if the seat opened up, I would go. I am just excited in general that I know that you can buy these at the store. The appetizer from Flavor of India. Galabjaman. They are similar to donut holes, but in a sweet sauce. I am absolutely ecstatic that someone commented to get this because I was at this event last weekend and Indian food was being catered at this event and I tried this for the first time and I was like, oh my gosh, it's literally so good. So here we have them. You can, you can cook them in the microwave. Oh, thank God. Remove tray, pale slitting entree several times. It cooked to eight to 10 minutes. Okay, now we just wait. So when I tried these, what I compared them to in my head was Taco Bell Cinnabon Delights. Um, so yeah, that's my comparison. Did you have homemade ones? Yeah, yeah, they were homemade. So beautiful. I know, it's so satisfying looking. <laughs> no. Just look at those little balls. It is so hot. Mm -mm. So interesting, like part of me felt like, did I spot into a piece of fruit, but like it was like a donut. <sighs> These are amazing and I actually like them better than donuts, do you? 
Mm, that's hard. I actually don't know if I like it better than donuts, but it's on an equal playing field. I just can't put anything above donuts. You know what I mean? Like thinking of a warm glazed donut, like I can't put that above it, but this isn't below it. They're at the same level. Yay. So we're both flying to India for this. First class. No one commented this, but I kind of want the two boys to try a bitter melon. I just really want to see that. So am I allowed to suggest my own thing? I know I was hired for this just to read these comments, but yeah. You know what, bun? Yes, I will listen to what you want. You want us to try a bitter melon? You want to see us boys try it? Us boys will try a bitter melon for you. I didn't really know what this was, but then the guy at the grocery store was saying, Oh, it's very good for like diabetes. It's like you cut it up and stuff. And then I got reminded, our dad was talking about this. He has a garden and he's growing these. So um, it's kind of funny that like we're gonna be trying because they because they aren't um, done yet in the garden. So if we like them, um, we can just go to a, a family's house and pick them. Our dad and I actually watched a video on how to cook these like a month ago because like we didn't really know what they were. But um, so basically the, on the video that I watched, first I should probably wash it. Okay, so they cut off the top, you cut off the bottom, and then you just like make little slices, like so. Then you get a pan going, put some like grease on it, like oil or whatever, and saute these bad boys up. By the way, um, I'm actually not that confident in how I'm cooking these. Like, I don't know actually like how to cook them really, but like I'm just like, I think I remember what the video said. So me and Lucas just watched the video that me and our dad watched a few weeks ago and um, the guy actually um, carved out the middle because the middle has seeds and like carcass. But um, we can just not eat the middle, you know? Oh, that's true. Just eat the outside. <laughs> What'd you say? And then say, it's done. It's done. What'd you say? It's done. Say it louder. It's done. It's done. It's called Biddle Mullen. It's so bitter. Oh, it's so bitter. I don't know, but um, just on that one bite, I don't, I, it's like really bitter. Dad's growing these? Yeah. Then again, maybe this is a thing where if you added it into a whole dish of vegetables, it would, this flavor would be a good, it would like just boost up the other flavors or something, you know? Yeah, I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do, but maybe having this with like chicken and like spices and like so many other vegetables. Mm -hmm. Yay. I'm not lying to India, you know? Yeah, plus we don't have to fly to India because they're in um, dad's oh, backyard. True. <laughs> Just go to daddy's backyard and he'll pick out yeah, one out of the grass. Did you notice how no one commented this or no one asked for this? Well, someone did ask for this, so pipe down. Yeah, the guy at the grocery store, we just go like, what's the bus thing? What's gonna make me <laughs> happy? And. Do you remember the joke you said though first? What? I said, what's the most popular thing? And he said, it's all popular. Like he said, he was making a joke like everything's good here. Like he was like that type of vibe. Then he said, but actually like this is my favorite thing. Okay, so when he pointed this out, I immediately thought of like Chex Mix. Yeah. It's a spicy blend of chickpea flour noodles, pulses, and rice flakes. And but it looks like there's like cashews in the photos, so. But I feel like the taste isn't gonna give Chex Mix. I think it literally is just Chex Mix. No, I feel like it's gonna be more flavorful. Because it has <gasps> chickpeas. Why would they do this? You have to like get a knife to open it. What? <laughs> okay, got it. Oh, oh, it just looks a country. I wanna do a whiff. Mm. Oh, it doesn't smell like Chex Mix. Oh, oh I love this. Mm. Oh, sweet. Like when you said it's sweet, I was so confused. So like, I got like a tangy one, but then like there's all these different flavors. Everything is awesome when you're working <laughs> with a <the> team. <laughs> Stuff like this very much gives me um, road trip days and airplane days. I, I feel like he was the owner of the store. Yeah, I feel like he was too. Yeah, go him. Thank God we asked him for his suggestion. Yay. Obviously I would, um, Go to India, but honestly, I just haven't imported from India. I'm done with flying. Yeah, at this point, yeah, we're gonna go broke from all these flights. Like, these, it's all the way across to the world. Yeah, and hotels, transportation, everything. Yeah, so I think I'd have to pass on the trip. I, yeah, same. Just Actually. because of, like, financial burden. Mmm. Yeah, something about it's so creamy. So how does it compare to the homemade one? The homemade one will butter. That's to be expected, I guess. Coco? Masala munch. 
It's giving hot Cheeto. <laughs> The second I saw you said this is Giving Hot Cheeto, I was like, you know what? I wanna see what Giving Hot Cheeto feels like, so I got it. It does look like a Cheeto. Mmm. This is made by Cheetos, whatever company owns Cheetos. What are the spices? It's the same as the noodles. Masala? Masala, yeah. It literally is hot Cheetos, but add masala. These might be my favorite snack we've tried this whole video. I know. I do have to admit, if someone put this next to a hot Cheeto and I was blindfolded, I don't know if I'd be able to tell the difference. Cause this is at the same amount of spicy. I mean, you don't think you would get like the masala maybe? I don't know, maybe I, I wouldn't. I just don't really taste the masala to be honest. All I taste is, is spicy hot Cheeto. Mm. Yay. As we said, we aren't flying, but in point, Import these to the USA, please. You know what I would do? I would keep going to the guy's business and buying these. Oh, but I'm just picturing this world where it shut down. Oh. You should also buy samosas. Some of you guys commented to get homemade samosas, but they didn't have that. So um, the frozen ones will do. It's made by the same deep Indian kitchen. And this is jumbo, includes chutney. It has like potatoes, green peas. Sounds yummy. So there's no microwave instructions, but <laughs> I'm just gonna cook it in the microwave. It's not like, unless the breading's actually bad, but I feel like it isn't. I doubt it. Oh, uh, we we might not be able to do these videos anymore because I legit broke Lucas's microwave. It kept turning off, so we cooked it in the air fryer and it ended up working. They're reminding me of a pizza roll. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say, like, I'm just gonna act like these are the pizza rolls of India. Mm -hmm. Did these used to be at like the Swans truck or something? Like where have I seen these? You, you said you've had them frozen before, right? right? No, um, I've I've um, had them before, but just at like restaurants. I think I've actually seen these like in the frozen section before because they're kind of by the pizza rolls. Usually when I have these, I do have to admit, I don't like them. Just because they just don't taste like flavorful to me. Oh my God, I'm, I'm but intrigued. But let's see, I wanna, I wanna try these ones. Much. It's actually really good. This is actually like really good. Mm. I was really just hating, but this brand is good. Mine's a little bit cold in the middle. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of a cold section, but it still is really good. I still have to say that if this had a ranch, I would like it more. Mm. Like it already is really flavorful. If you could just dip it in something. I always need to dip. I think I just always need to dip everything in something. These taste very manly. There's like a pine flavor in here. You know a lot of um, male clones have pines and shit? That's mm. what it's reminding me of. Like toxic masculinity or positive? Positive masculinity. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to get these next time I go to an Indian restaurant. And they're, they're an appetizer, right? Or is it like a, it's not a main course, right? I think it's like a side or an appetizer. Mm. Yay. I'm not flying to India because I, you can just buy them in the frozen section, I guess. Mm -hmm. And like, I know those aren't like completely authentic, but like, I'm fine with having the little like frozen one from tea, from banquet. This would, <laughs> this would be like my eighth flight to India, but I'm gonna fly to India. I had this vision when I was thinking of it just a couple seconds ago of me going to like this food market and like there was all these stands and it was sort of like at a fair type of thing. And like I could just try all these different types of samosas and stuff and like, so I, that actually I feel like it's worth getting a ticket for. That was us trying a few things from the Indian grocery store. I was about to say we tried everything, but that would obviously be wrong. We only tried like 2% of the stuff there. Thanks for the suggestions and bye. Bye. I'm just joking. I'm not being hypnotized. <laughs> That's what somebody who is hypnotizing someone would say. That's true.